Hi guys, and welcome to this episode of Nocturne Cow Let's Play Alan Wake. So we just got a page, and apparently there's something in this car for us. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Oh, that's not good. Wait, stop. Camera angle got out of got away from me there. Jump, 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 jump. Yes. Okay. The writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into true. the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. They make some good points. Your, the world that the writer creates is only... Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. They are not accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff has been reprimanded. Tor and Odin never caused any trouble to anyone when they were still living at their farm. Indeed. All we can do is to slow down the progress of their dementia. I don't think they had dementia. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about- Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey! Oh, my! Take it easy. Hey, nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler. His agent? I knew he was gonna look like if that. If you have business with Mr. Why. Wake, you talk What's to me. What's with the jacket? You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. <laughs> Dick. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. You know. What thing with the paparazzi? Wait, what thing? I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. And he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. Ooh, I like that the car. The plan was to Yellow. rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Bad. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just oh. thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. She don't want you. Who's Max? A uh, dog? What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the yep. last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? 
Really? No! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice, Do and you everything's just... Do you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong, it's a good story, could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. <gasps> uh, wait here. Where am I going? Talk to Rusty. All right, he's on the balcony. How do you get out to the balcony? This way. I mean, part of me wants to explore, but, you know. I knew it was the dog. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is gonna be okay. He got lucky. Yay, puppy! Puppy's safe. Okay, Max okay. is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk across from the mammoth skeleton. Got it. I'm on it. We got this. Okay, boy. Seriously, We're Al, almost you done can't here. just go and meet a kidnapper. Those Dude. situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Um, I'm not joshing you. This shit really happened. So, fuck off. That, that, ooh, something to read. Hold on, hold on. Oh, it's a lot. Um, you guys can read it yourself. I'm not gonna read out loud. Bucktooth Char- Why? Why? Why did they name it Bucktooth Charlie? That's just- I don't- Can you get any more- Like, redneck cliche? Like, for real. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Poor puppy. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Oh, and hey, if you take a walk in the woods, watch your step so you don't end up like Max. I guess I'm a little worried. We got a bunch of campers out there we haven't heard from. It's not like these people are on a schedule, but with the traps, well, you know. I just don't want any trouble. Right. Thanks. Ah, oh, that thing. Okay. Look, Al. You're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. Do you yep. hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, Wearing white shirts with two long, tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. Yep. You gave exactly. me an hour long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me then. Al, come on! <laughs> I mean, exactly. Okay. If I'm the skeptic, okay, and maybe I believe something this shit. weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come here, Barry. Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. Uh -huh. Exactly. Come on. Look out of here. <laughs> That's 
such as crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, <laughs> Barry. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. <laughs> Duel. <laughs> Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Really? <laughs> Bless you. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. This is so not worth a 15% commission. Really? Really? Uh, I mean, you knew you were coming into the wilderness. You should have, you know. You know, pack some, like, Benadryl or something. Why didn't we come here? I, mean, I feel like it's nicer. I like it better. I mean, I guess it's not like a house, but I guess she wanted to be able to see the lake. Alright, I'm just making sure lights work. And that they are on. And all that jazz. So I guess go this way? Not that way. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is a cute little picnic area thingy. That's adorable. It's very rustic and um, fitting for the location. Birds! I'm waiting for those things to be evil and attack me. Alright. I'll wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Watching the door now. Good. Lock the door, keep the lights on. Barry had never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. Of course it would. I mean, most people would be worried in this situation. Okay, maybe not most people. I know a few people that if I walked up to them and was like, yo, this. Barry had the keys to the car he rented. Wasn't a long walk to the visitor center. And it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. Okay. Um. What was I saying? Right, I have friends who would be like... I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done. But I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them. And they had Alice. But yeah, I have friends who'd be like, you're nuts, we're gonna lock you up. And I have friends who'd be like, you know what, alright, I'm going with you, let me get my shoddy. <laughs> I actually don't know anybody who actually owns a gun, but, you know, they, they, swords. I have friends who own swords. They'd be like, yep, grab a sword. Oh. Shit, what was that? The fuck was... Ah... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sound. Uh oh. Uh oh. We have entered.
entered the Twilight Zone. That rumbling and that light going out, officially we've entered the world of the shadows. <laughs> what else do you expect me to do? Okay, well, that looks dilapidated. I can probably go in there. That's probably goodies. Camper. I'm just like tripping over all these manuscript pages today. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. Shit. Poor Rusty, I liked him. He seemed nice. The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. on that page I found came true it knew so dark it'll come back for me you must the lights in the office I have the key okay Rusty hang on I'll be right back don't die whatever did this couldn't be far Rusty had found a page from the manuscript it would help me understand what had happened Um, okay, we're going to stop there for now. Um, we'll go find the page and hopefully make it so Rusty doesn't die. He's probably going to.